Danville city manager is assuring people that city leaders are doing everything they can to reduce the violence. Four robberies happened just yesterday, making six in the last two and a half weeks. WS Host 10's Coulter Anstead is live outside City Hall tonight. So, Coulter, what is the city manager saying about the plan unveiled last month to try and help cut down on crime? Well, John, the city manager, Ken Larking, or says that uh, some of the proposals outlined in the plan are already being implemented in an effort to create both immediate and long-term solutions. But he emphasizes that people need to have patience because it is going to take time for the implemented proposals to start producing positive results. Four people were robbed yesterday, the first happening in the parking lot of the Riverside Shopping Center around 3.30. The victim was approached by a man with a knife who demanded money. It was the third robbery involving a weapon in the last two and a half weeks. The second of yesterday's four robberies also involving a weapon happened about two hours later when a woman reported being approached in the parking lot of Piedmont Credit Union on Piney Forest by a man with a knife. In um, all four cases as well, they described two persons being involved, so there are some similarities that definitely we take a look at. In December, a plan containing multiple proposals for reducing violent crime was unveiled. While not every proposal has been implemented yet, City Manager Ken Larkin says some have. Uh, we are scheduling a meeting with uh, some groups of people to form the gang task force. The police department is, has changed some of its policing tactics. He believes that despite what the violence over the past two and a half weeks may seem to suggest, the city is making progress. In, in the case of uh, the um, the the shootings uh, didn't take long. Um, I think it was a matter of a couple of days. Um, we, we found the uh, person who was responsible. Even so, that's a little comfort to people like pizza delivery driver Janice Douglas. Two of yesterday's robbery victims were pizza delivery drivers, which makes her nervous. Yes, of course it does. Yes, because you never know who's watching you, who's following you, and seeing how much money you're getting. She says other delivery drivers, too, are nervous, especially with all of the other crime. You could be robbed at any time just doing your job. Now, all of four of yesterday's robberies remain under investigation tonight. As for that gang task force meeting that the city manager mentioned, it is scheduled to be held in about a week and will not be open to the public. In Danville, Coulter Anstat, WSLS 10.